In this uh, lecture, we'll get into collecting data from a website. So any website in the world is written in HTML, which is a markup language. <clears throat> so in addition to default uh, language, like English, uh, they have additional codes for markup, like um, B for bold text, or I for italic text. Um, or when specifying an image, it would go something like this, and so on. And there's also links which are specified, like a certain link um, could go to some website, and so on. <coughs> so every website usually has, mm, has some links, at least. And in Python, we can collect all of this website data and process it. So first, we'll import urllib2, which is a module for uh, using the web. And then specify the website code. Um, I'll use this type of formatting instead of the underscore, but it's up to you. Um, and then we have a method open and we specify a website uh, that you want to see. So let's just pick um, uh, slash dot. Then uh, it will download the content of that website specific URL and store it into the variable website code. So if we would print it, it would output all that website code. <coughs> Uh, I think there's a read function, actually. Yeah, so, sorry. Um, so we had the read function here. And then it would load all of the website code with this line into the variable website code. And then we output that. So you can see all of that code from the website appearing. This is a link, as I mentioned earlier. Then there's all kind of code for the uh, for the website, and even some some JavaScript here. Uh, so if, if you're not familiar, this is just code to to display a website, which can contain uh, images, text, uh, or certain colors and so on. So you can pick any website uh, you want. This website has a lot of links, so might be interesting. See that there are all kind of links appearing here. And many more links. It's kind of like a Reddit site. And so on. So then we just have the, the code, but the code itself might not be useful to you. You might want to have a collection of links. And we can use an additional module to collect links from this code. So this model is called beautiful soup. It's kind of a weird name, but okay. Then we create a new soup <laughs> from that uh, website code. And we want to have an array uh, with links. Then we simply say for each link in soup, so in the object created from the website code, um, every link has a from the hold on. I think we can just specify all. Okay, got a typo there. There you go. We've got all kind of links here. And it's collected with this one method because of this A tag. Uh, so why the A? It's because a link is specified like this. So it searches for that. And might want to iterate in a more uh, 
uh, visual way so there we go got all of those links from the website you can see the tech and links to all kind of uh, item links which are not specifically on that website of course you can pick any website uh, you want so even if you pick another one like um, um, another technology site might find different links so links to some privacy policy um, links to about us read more and so on so this way collect all of the the links